Hi guys, it's Monica. I want to share with you a couple of products and a couple of things that I've been doing for my diet and health and also some cosmetics that were sent to me, some products that were sent to me for review and things that have been sent to me that I just continue to use because I really absolutely love using that. So uh, first let me say that um, I am the type of person that I like nothing better than a pedicure or a beautiful foot massage or to have Jay just rub cream in my feet. I could sit in my chair with my feet elevated having him rub cream in my feet all night long and just, I mean, it'd be perfect. So sometimes I have to bribe him to do that. But so when I saw on the Octoly Network this foot fetish cream and it's foot fetish care, Samba, so I, I know I'm gonna butcher it, so I am not going to even try to pronounce it. I'm going to put the link down below. This was sent to me complimentary from the company via the Octoly Network, but I picked it because I was really intrigued by this foot fetish cream. I don't know, maybe I have a foot fetish or something, I don't know. But the really cool thing is that they you have this like little foot file. It's very gentle. So if you've gone to a pedicure, sometimes you know it can be a little rough. This is actually very gentle. And what you do is you kind of exfoliate around your foot at, when your feet are clean. You exfoliate around your, your foot and then you have somebody or yourself put this cream on and you just massage it in. And let me just, it's like, a a white cream. I can't tell you what it smells like, but it has a faint aroma, a faint smell. And I really, almost vanilla-y. It's, um, it smells good. It smells good. To me, it smells good. I really, I really like it. I think that that's good. And, but the most important thing is when you put this on, now if you had like foot socks, and you put this you put this on and you really massage on your feet and then you put foot socks on and you went to bed for the night oh my gosh you wake up the next morning and your feet are smoother than a baby's bum bum i swear to god it is so so nice so this is foot fetish cream sent to me free for review i am loving 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 it the other thing i got and i'd already reviewed the shower gel from the jergens instant sun so I, I was really curious about the, um, the tanning mousse. So I selected this from the Octoly Network as well. So I got this from Jurgens, And then this came in after we had left for Canada. So I was really bummed. I was really hoping to put it on my legs before we went for our vacation. But it came in after we went on vacation. And so since I've been home, I've been putting this on my legs. And it is exactly a mousse, just like what you think, a slight tinted mousse. So you can see. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm going to wipe it off because I don't want to put it in the palm of my hands. But what I really like about it is you can pretty well very easily see where you're putting it. And it does give you a slight bronzing effect for me. Sunless tanning bronzing. To me, it's a light bronze color. It worked really well on my legs. I, did, I used it on my legs. I didn't use it on my chest or my neck or anything or even on my arms. But I used it on my legs because my legs, I wear long pants all the time. And so my legs are always like the palest. And when I used to go to the beach all the time and sit out and, you know, tan them, it was completely different. But they're like always, always so pale. The other thing that was sent to me, and I was really thrilled because many of you I recall when I received this from Skindeva, the hydrating anti-aging infusion spray. This is the cucumber, the agaline and cucumber. And I had talked to you about how much I really liked I do. I really like spritzing this on. And I took this with me to my trip to Canada. And it was in my purse when we went out and about. And if you haven't watched any of those vlogs, you probably don't know. But if you did, you understand. We were out in the elements all the time. It was a little bit colder up there. And even though it was sunny, it was windy, my, my skin felt thirsty. I'd spray that on and my skin felt good. It may not have looked the greatest after a full day of outside this type of vacation we did, but it felt great. So when I had an opportunity to test out their pure hyaluronic acid, I said, mmm, I like this idea. So I applied for that and this I did get in time and I did take this with me to Canada. 
So when I did my skincare in Canada, which I'll probably share a vacation video skincare, I use this hyaluronic acid every day, and I must tell you, I really like it. I've used the ordinary hyaluronic acid. I've used the um, timeless hyaluronic acid. And so I have some experience with hyaluronic acid, acid and how it feels. This felt really good. So I used it every day in Canada. Just a little drop goes a long way and it felt super, super good. Again, that was sent to me from Skin Deva, Diva via the Oxley Network. I have to figure out how to pronounce that and in exchange for a, you know, review, honest review. So I'm absolutely thrilled with that. The other thing I wanted to tell you when I went to Canada, I took these pure eyeliners and the brown charcoal, a burgundy, uh, the other one must be in my bag still, and a black one. And I was so happy that I took these. I mean, I have a lot of different eyeliners that I've used over the years that I've experimented with. I have like a lot of cheaper ones from Rimmel, you know, uh, over the counter or drugstore. I have some more expensive ones. I have um, some Urban Decay that I really like. And this, the Pure, P-U-R, that was sent to me also via the Octoly Network. This was sent to me before I laughed and I had already done an initial review on this. But I'll tell you what I really liked about this was you twist this. That's all you have to do. You twist it. And for me, I have a perfect sharp line. Perfect sharp line. And then you just put it back on and you, you twist it close. And this stayed on, I didn't wear a whole lot of makeup while I was away, but this stayed on my eyes because that's the one thing I may go without foundation, I may go without lipstick, I may go out with, you know, other things not, you know, on my face, blush, etc. But I never go without mascara and I never really go without eyeliner. So this stayed on all the time. I really, I was very, very pleased with the performance out in the elements of this eyeliner. Absolutely. And that was gifted to me as well from Octoly and I did review it, but I am loving it and loving it and loving it. And the other thing I'm loving, and I almost feel guilty saying this, but um, this was sent to me, I don't even know how long ago. I've already reviewed it, I think a couple of times. But since I'm fresh off vacation, I just have to say, this was a, a lifesaver for me. Half the time I couldn't really style my hair because up in Cape Breton Island it was so windy and you know, and all of that. And, and then it was cold and I was putting a hoodie on. You know, it was like really wild. I only packed one warm sweater, not thinking I would need it. So this I bought and this was gifted to me way back when. And this is the um, Hair Building Fibers. This is light brown. Now I'm very careful when I sprinkle it on. I make sure that if I'm gonna derma roll my scalp that I only derma roll when it's clean and I make sure I get all of the buildup off my scalp. But what this does, it gives you almost the illusion. So for those of you that say, oh, your hair looks thicker. Well, it's probably really not my hair looking so much thicker as it is this awesome product that I have and will continue to use and continue to buy. So this was a big, big thing for me. And lastly, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, if you watch any of my Insta stories, um, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll make sure that the link is in my description box below, but I'll raise it up higher so you can, you can follow me. But if you watch my Instagram stories, you know that I have been trying out some, uh, a new diet type thing. And I started this before I went to Canada. This was not um, gifted to me. This is not inexpensive. This is something I paid for by myself. It's not sponsored. I'm not being paid to say any of this. And it may not work for everybody. But I needed something to kickstart my diet. I, have, I live a low-carb lifestyle. And I found that, yes, I had my cheats. But I found that I was cheating more. And I was gaining more. And I was just feeling miserable. And I would start to get really strict. I'd go back to the intermittent fasting. I'd go back to this. And I was just having a hard time staying on program. So a number of people that I know have been using this and I know them in real life. So I've seen their dietary success over the course of three, four years of still being on this that's still successful. And to me, you know, the, the hardest thing about losing or maintaining is maintaining your motivation. And your motivation, almost any diet I believe can work if you're motivated. So sometimes if you're someone like me, you need something that's gonna kick you in the butt. So I paid 
money for this program and I went on the initial 30 days and then I went away. I did really well. I packed my meal replacement shakes twice a day and then at night I could have anything or if I wanted a lunch instead of a dinner, whatever. So I packed, I packed my snacks. I did really great except for the last three days. I just totally blew it. And then when I blew it, I said, well, I might as well just continue on blowing it. When I get home, I'll start fresh. So Sunday we got home. It was a, it was a low key week, but it was a busy week because it was around the university all week. And I went right back on taking my shakes and trying to be really good. And I knew that I was going to have to do a two day cleanse. And I did the cleanse this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And today is Sunday. I'm filming this. You probably won't see this until next weekend sometime. But, um, so I did the two-day cleanse and I wasn't too sure how I was going to survive it because I was like, I, I know that I had to cook for Jay. You know, when you're married and, and your husband, I'm more, I am a traditional wife. My husband opens the door for me. He pumps gas in my car. I do the laundry most of the time. He will do some of it depending on our schedules. I do 90% of the cooking. He'll do some of it again depending on our schedule. So I'm very much a traditional wife and so I knew that if I didn't cook for him, he probably wouldn't cook for himself. So um, even though I did my two-day cleanse Saturday and Sunday, I was really nervous because we were together and I was worried that I would cheat. But it is now at the time of this filming, 4.31 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Sunday. and. I will have my shake, my, not my shake because I'm cleansing, but I'll have my cleanse drink in a little bit. And then tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, I'll go into the shake and I'll start to have my shake meals and my snacks and my meal tomorrow night. So it'll be two days. I, um, I haven't lost much weight since I started this program. Before I went to Canada, I was down six pounds. I didn't weigh myself when I came home from Canada because I was like really... I was, I was uh, nervous and I knew I was bad and I said, what the heck, you know. But um, I did weigh myself before I started the cleanse and I was um, the same weight as I was before I went to Canada. So this, if I had gained while I was in Canada, it came off during the week. So I'm really curious to see. I don't expect to have any kind of a major loss this weekend, but I'll weigh myself in the morning and I, I'm figuring I probably four pounds of water weight or six pounds of water weight on my first cleanse and that would be that would be okay but the only reason i'm sharing this with you is because those of you that do follow my instagram you have asked me you know what am i doing why are you changing things um i just want to get healthy i want to tone i i don't want to lose weight because i don't want my skin to sink down i'm wrinkly enough but I don't want to like get that sunken look that some people when they get too thin get. I don't want that. So I just want to be able to, you know, I, I always complained about the eight pounds I gained last summer and then it turned into 10 over the winter. And then by the summer it was 14. I want to lose that. That's my goal. So that's the update on that. And um, for those of you that have been asking me about my dad, um, at the time of this recording, the prognosis for my dad is not that great. Um, he's an AFib. He has some heart issues. He has some prostate. He has very bad prostate cancer. There's a number of different issues that have cropped up with my dad. Overall, he's been an extremely healthy, healthy man all his life. And there's, it's very hard for me to see him in the condition he is now. So continued prayers for him. He's going to have an echocardiogram test to see how his heart is doing. But being an AFib and, you know, having swellings and not being able to take blood thinners, etc., because he had a deep brain stroke several years ago, um, you know, it's all a factor. And um, I just appreciate all your well wishes and your thoughts. And I just... I know this sounds very childish of me, but I just can't imagine a world without my daddy in it. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. You know, a, a girl grows up and sometimes the only man that you've always known all your life that you can depend on upon, usually, not for all of you I know, but for some of us has been our fathers. And you know, then we get married, we have husbands, sometimes marriages don't work out. My first one didn't, although I shouldn't say that I have two beautiful boys from that marriage. And my marriage with Jay is wonderful. But my dad, all my life, all my life, he's been there. And I just can't imagine a world without my dad. So your well wishes and your prayers are truly, truly appreciated.
Thank you all so much, guys. Sorry to end this on a downer, but I just wanted to answer those questions that I've been getting. So, and if you're not connected with me on Instagram, hop on over to Instagram. Uh, I, you know, I don't share a whole lot of uh, photos. Uh, I mean, I do, but I do more Insta stories and they only live for 24 hours. So if you're curious, which you probably aren't, you can see a little bit more of my daily life, I suppose. Anyways, I'm off. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.